What's up, everybody? It's the PA, and today I wanted to take you on a tour of my goldfish pond. It's a concrete goldfish pond that I built over the span of two summers. Uh, and I want to take you on a tour and show you some of the vegetation that I have, some of the fish. And I want to give you and take you on a tour of the concrete fish pond, which currently has goldfish. So let's get going. So here we have the goldfish pond. I estimated to be about 500 gallons. And currently I have about 10, 11 fish. Started off with four goldfish and then the uh, darker fish here. One of my friends came over and gave me some fish. We don't know if they're goldfish or if they're koi. And the reason being koi and goldfish in the beginning, they look exactly the same when they're small. So it's really hard to tell what they are. So part of this pond is not just the pond itself or the fish, but the atmosphere around it. You can see I made a little sign, I have a fish on one side, it says pond, I have some solar lights, uh, there is a bench that I made out of scrap wood and I sit there and it's the whole landscape and around it. Uh, you can see here the bamboo on the left, you can see the Japanese maples and the whole thing by the way is powered by solar. Here you can see my skimmer, um, I have that little basket there, that's where it collects the leaves and everything else. For me, I didn't want to make just a pond, I wanted to make uh, an environment, I wanted to make uh, an ecosystem, something that would be adding to the landscape. Everything comes together, I think, to make this a nice, peaceful, tranquil uh, space. And like I said, I come here often, I sit down on the bench, I watch the fish, it's just really relaxing. Even without the fish, just the water circulating and the sound of the water is great. And again, you can see I have various plants around the pond, in the pond. Initially, I had all these in plastic pots, but I found out that cutting soda bottles or uh, orange juice bottles that are clear made it more um, natural. So, you know, you don't see the pot, you don't see the, the plastic vase. All you see is the plant and whatever rocks you have around the plant. And for me, this makes it more natural. It makes it less likely to see men made. And basically, that's, that's what I was going for. Something that was natural, self-sustained. Here you can see I have some uh, birdhouses. Because the water does attract different... Uh, wildlife such as birds it's actually pretty amazing when you have a pond how much it changes your yard and how much more wildlife you get and all of this because of this water and this environment that you created so i think that's part of the whole pond it's not just the pond itself it's what comes with it So some of the plants that I got were some hornwort. You can see here I got some taro roots. They're cheap and they do a great job filtering the water. I got some water irises, some cattails, and I think that it all adds to the environment. Not only does it filter the water, but it looks beautiful and it makes it appealing to look at. You know, the amount of insects and snails and every other wildlife that you get, that you attract to this pond, it really is amazing and it's just nice to see. On a nice night, I like to come over here, feed the fish, and just sit there for a few minutes and look at this and just realize how beautiful nature can be, even if it's man-made. So in the beginning, I definitely knew that I didn't want to use a liner. I wanted to use concrete and I got some rocks, I got some shells from the beach as you can see here. And again, the whole point of this was to make it as natural as possible. And I know with a liner, that was not going to be possible, at least for me. Um, I feel like with a liner, it's more of a temporary solution. And to me, concrete just seems more of a permanent, stronger structure, like it's going to last long. And it just fits better overall into the environment, especially if you do it like I did here, where you get some nice stones, some nice shells. I don't know, to me, it just seems like the concrete is the way to go. 
Uh, obviously, when I built this, uh, there's a lot of challenges over the three summers that I built this. Concrete is a porous material, and I dealt with leaks right from the beginning, and it became so frustrating that I almost wanted to quit. But initially, I kept on, and I fixed the leaks, and I'm glad that I stuck with it, and that uh, I conquered those problems. And again, it's you know there's a lot of challenges when you're building a concrete pond versus a liner pond. I mean, not to say that there's no challenges with a liner, but a concrete for me, especially if you're doing it for the first time, you have never done this before, is very, very challenging. And one of the biggest challenges was finding the right product to seal the concrete. Because when you build something out of concrete, especially a pond, you really have to seal it. And there's various products out there, and they could be very expensive, uh, that will help you seal the pond and uh, that was the whole trick to it finding the right material finding the right product to seal your pond and that's one of the most important things and what I should have done in the beginning was seal the pond first then started adding these little shells and little rocks what I did was I added all these little rocks and shells with mortar without sealing it first and that was my biggest mistake if I had to do it all over again, of course, you know, now it's going to be a lot easier because I already built something. I would go ahead, dig it up, uh, build the pond, uh, build out of concrete, and then seal it. And then start adding to it little by little. And initially, that's where I went wrong. And the whole thing is being powered by a 30 watt. 12 volt uh, solar panel and uh, with a DC pump and I find it that it works great. Where this pond is located, I get a lot of debris, I get a lot of leaves, and my thinking was I need a skimmer, I need something to clean the water on its own, and I need it to be self-sustained. And the way I did this, I divided the pond into two parts, one where the fish live, and then another little section here to the left, as you can see right here, where the water gets skimmed into that basket. And that, the skimmer itself, has been working great. This section is also where I have the pump. So the pump, the water comes into the little pond here and it gets recirculated and it comes out of the lion's mouth. This design for me has been working um, pretty good actually. I mean, I don't know if you can adapt this to a huge pond, but for the size of the pond that I have here, it works relatively well. I'm happy with it. And you can see here, the skimmer basket works relatively well. You can see it collects all these leaves here, and it does a good job. I'm happy with that. Uh, inside the basket, I have a charcoal filter and some bio balls to help it with the good bacteria. But I quickly found that this was not enough to get the water quality up to par uh, the way I wanted it. And uh, again, this is my first time building a pond here and doing all of this. So what I ended up doing is getting a... Uh, filter pump box and you can see here I got this on Amazon by the way it comes with various filters so there's filter number one here there's a finer filter and then there's bio balls uh, on the bottom and you can substitute these for lava rock that's what a lot of people use but this is gonna collect the good bacteria and I'm gonna enclose my pump in there and uh, in hopes that the water quality gets a lot better and the water that you've seen here is before I actually put the uh, filter box in use and I'm gonna monitor over the upcoming weeks and hopefully, you know, see a difference. And it's very challenging and part of having a pond, especially if it's your first time, is having these issues and solving them. All right, so if you enjoyed this video and you liked the tour of the fish pond, of the goldfish pond, uh, let me know. Leave a comment, put a like, and if I get enough interest, I'll go ahead and create a video on how I built the pond from beginning to end. All right, thank you, it's the PA, I'm out.